Hey everyone, it's Brandon here, and today I just want to make a quick short video showing you how to thevenize a simple circuit. Now if you're not sure what the purpose of thevenization is, it allows us to take a circuit of any kind and type that uses passive components and condense it down into a circuit with a voltage source and a resistor. What that allows us to do is test several different loads here without having to reanalyze the circuit each time we want to test a load of a different value. The example problem that I'm going to be going through is as follows. Okay, now the first step in our thevenization process is going to be to remove the load. In this circuit, the load is right here. It's going to be a resistor. We have not yet given it a value, but we're going to go ahead and take that out of the circuit, which means our new circuit schematic will look like a basic voltage divider. Now when I do this, I typically keep these drawn here just to show where the load goes. That's going to be important later in the next process. Okay. Once we do that, we're going to find the Thevenin voltage. Now the Thevenin voltage is going to be the equivalent voltage of this circuit. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the voltage that exists right here at these between these terminals where our load typically goes. And to do that, we're going to look at this voltage divider circuit. What we find is that if we do the voltage divider, the voltage across this 3 kilo ohm resistor is going to be the voltage that's going to go across our load because they're in parallel with each other. So to find that, our Thevenin voltage is equivalent to the battery voltage, 36 volts, times our 3 kilo ohm resistor divided by the sum of the resistance. So that's going to be 6 kilo ohms plus 3 kilo ohms. Now what that gives us is a Thevenin voltage of 12 volts. Okay. Now step three. For step three, we're going to find, want to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance. And to find the Thevenin resistance, we're going to short out any voltage sources and open up any current sources. Since we only have a voltage source here, we're going to short it which means we pretend this isn't here and we look at these two resistors looking in from where the load typically is. Now, if you observe, these resistors are connected on both ends. While they look like they're in series, they're actually in parallel once we short this out. So to redraw that, you find that our circuit now looks like this. With the 6 kilo ohms here and 3 kilo ohms here. The equivalent resistance of this circuit will be the resistance rule for two parallel resistors. So we're going to take them and multiply them. 3 kilo ohms times 6 kilo ohms. We're going to divide that by the sum of the two. So 3 kilo ohms plus 6 kilo ohms. What we find is our Thevenin equivalent resistance is 2 kilo ohms. So now that we have our Thevenin voltage and our Thevenin resistance, we can draw this circuit up here with those two numbers. So our new circuit looks like this. Now what we're able to do is we're able to put any load resistance in here that we want and easily test the voltage and the current through that circuit without having to reevaluate the circuit each time. Now, in this example, it's a very easy circuit. We could easily calculate the equivalent resistance of the parallel and then do a voltage divider. However, once you get into larger, more complicated circuits, it's worth the time and the effort to do a simple thevenization of the circuit to create this and then to analyze this with different load resistances. In this example, it'll ask for the voltage and current if you had a zero ohm load or if it was one ohms or 2 ohms, or let's say we wanted to use a 100 ohm load resistance. We can easily do that because now we have a simple voltage divider circuit and we can find the voltage at this point, this node right here, 
we'll find the voltage across our load and we'll because it's a series circuit we'll also be able to find the current through each of these components of the circuit so that's how you do a thevenization